Many of them had never seen snow. Forty-four students from the Miami inner city, the poor neighborhoods of South Florida, made their way to Washington, D.C. 32 hours on a bus, one step in Atlanta, and finally D.C. I was part of that trip as a witness to their participation at March for Our Lives, a national student protest inspired by the latest Florida high school shooting. We were all tired. But once we got to Washington, the energy erupted. We want justice. We want peace. They jammed, they protested, and they tried to make themselves heard. I feel like we came all the way out here to say nothing. It, it, it hits me in my heart because I know there's too many of us that's out here that's had too many brothers and sisters that's been killed. We have friends that got killed, and it seems like it's just a cycle of nothing being changed. I came from Miami. All right, if we came all the way from Miami, we the real show, right? We, we really what I came out here for. And I came out here for the kids. Now these are the kids that y'all don't want to get shot, right? So why we not on stage? Why y'all not showing them the faces that we, we really we really doing this for? All I see is number Caucasians. I don't see no black people. They need to come to our area. We from the urban, we from the hood, we from the ghetto. And this is every day for us. This is not even an epidemic no more. This is our culture. Everyone want to make it seem like it's statistics and it's an epidemic. Oh, this happens, then it's not. No, it's just, it's, this is what we live. We come in this world knowing that it's not destined. We might not have it forever. For them, gun violence is a daily occurrence. According to the nation's Health Protection Agency, black children are 10 times more likely to get killed by guns than children of other races. Despite the obstacles, they say they have hope. And I happen to be part of history right now because I know, like, in 30 years from now, when my kids or, or grandkids or whatever look on, into their books, they're going to be like, this is the youth, or these are the people who made the change for them. Once a group returns to Florida, they plan their own march in Miami. They don't want celebrities. They don't care for the show. They want the rest of society to understand them and help them to bring about change. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Washington.